to my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys are new to my channel, my name is Shayna. Welcome to my channel. And in today's video, I wanted to share with you guys three of my favorite places that I have been to so far. So the reason why I'm doing this video with you guys is because if COVID has taught me and my family anything, it's how much we appreciate all the little things we didn't appreciate before, especially when it comes to traveling. Me and my husband have been sitting down trying to figure out when we're going to be traveling next, where we're going to be going. So I am so grateful that we have gone to the places that I'm going to be mentioning into you in this video. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Paris. So I was really excited to be going to Paris because when I was younger, I used to love the movie The Hunchback of Notre Dame, especially the character Esmeralda. So when my husband surprised me with the plane tickets that we were going to be going there for our 10 year anniversary, I was super excited. And then I was also kind of really sad because I realized that my kids wouldn't be coming with us. But it was okay because I understood that they were a lot younger. And for them to travel that distance and also get used to the time zone in the amount of time that we were going to be there for was going to be really difficult for them. So I understood that and I was, you know, sad but excited at the same time. And then I was also kind of like a little bit um, upset because I was like, did he plan everything properly? Are we going to be doing all the things that I want to do? Because I'm the type of person, I like to plan everything six months ahead of time. But he knew exactly where we were going to be going and all the places that I would want to see. So when we got to Paris, we were didn't really get much sleep because everybody knows it's really hard to sleep on a plane. So as soon as we got to the airport, we ended up getting going straight to the hotel. And then we got there, we freshened up, changed our clothes, and then ended up taking a one hour walk to the Eiffel Tower. And the reason why we wanted to do the walk instead of taking like a taxi or Uber there is because we wanted to experience everything. And we were only there for a certain amount of time. So we wanted to take a scenic route and experience what Paris was like, the streets of Paris, the smells, the food, when we got to the Eiffel Tower, I really could not believe that I was standing in front of something that I wanted to see my whole entire life. After that, we did the most cliche thing that you can do while you're in Paris, which is sit down at a cafe, have cheese, have a baguette, and a glass of wine. For dinner, we would go to a classic French restaurant to try the French cuisine there. So some of the other places we visited while we were in Paris was the Louvre, the Sacred Heart Basilica Church, as well as the Notre Dame Church and the Love Locks. So I hope you guys enjoy this clip.
So I hope you guys enjoyed that little clip of Paris and let me know in the comments down below where you have traveled to or where you're planning to travel to. So the next place I'm going to be talking to you guys about is Italy and it's always been a dream of me and my husband to go to Italy and we thought we were going to do it a lot later down the road when our kids were in high school and they could remember um, going to Italy and experiencing it but my husband's parents had always dreamed about going backpacking through Europe and unfortunately my mother-in-law never got to fulfill her dream because she ended up getting diagnosed with leukemia and then later passing away before she got to experience it and because of that we want to travel now while we are healthy and able to travel with our children and create memories so I know a lot of people don't think it's ideal to travel with children, especially when they're younger, because they won't remember the trip or the experience. But what me and my husband do is when we're away, my husband will film the trip on his iPhone. And when we come home, he'll create a short video for them to have as a memory. So growing up, I grew up in a very predominant Italian neighborhood and me and my family love Italian food. So I always knew I wanted to go to Italy when I grew up. So we ended up going to Italy and staying there for 10 days and some of the places we visited whilst we were in Italy, Rome, Naples, Positano, Amalfi Coast and Tuscany. So one of our highlights from our trips of going to Italy was going to see Pompeii and when we went there we didn't want to walk around and be like not knowing what we were seeing so we ended up going on TripAdvisor and finding a guide and when we went there the guide explained to us exactly what had happened. And my children found that very memorable because they still talk about it today. So my advice to you guys is if you guys are going to Pompeii, make sure to hire a guide. Another fun activity that you can do together as a family in Rome is take a cooking class. And I will leave the link for the cooking class in the comments down below. Our chef was named Chef Andrea and he taught us how to make homemade Italian dishes. Some of the dishes that he taught us to make was tomato sauce, fresh pasta from scratch, and tiramisu. Our children loved it and the food was delicious. We also went to a lot of other places like the Vatican. We went to see the Trevi Fountain. We also went to Naples to try the delicious pizza there because that's what they're known for. We also went to museums and the Leaning Tower of Pisa and wineries. And I hope you guys enjoy the next clip. in Orlando Florida as well as Universal Studios but this time when we went to Florida we were only able to go to Disney World and when you go to Disney World 
it's just this incredible feeling that makes you feel like a little kid again when you walk through the gates and you see all the Disney characters like Mickey and Minnie, the princesses, going on the rides and going to the theaters and seeing the plays. It's just an amazing experience that just transfers you back into that little kid moment. And our kids and us really bond together when we go there because it's just a magical experience. One thing that I will advise you guys though is to make sure you plan your trip for Disney ahead of time so that you can get your fast pass ready to go as well as your dinner reservations. So I hope you guys enjoy the next clip. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and it gave you guys some tips for your next family vacation and if you guys like this video don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and i will see you guys next sunday in a brand new video take care and bye for now